Yeah. <laughs> and here we are. Oh, hi, hi Zen. We're, what is, what is we're going on doing? in the fucking private chat? What is that? What is that? What is we were just, oh, we're just sharing some stuff about like our past. You know, <laughs> tragic stories. That's, tragic that's, stories. That's, Tragic story, I was talking you know. about. I was okay. I don't. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the fucking drawing. It was about the software. We were talking about software. Oh shit! That's a lot of people. That's what, no, it's not that many people. Okay. It's like a hundred people. <laughs> it's, it's the, oh, I wonder. Days, I wonder how the YouTube stream is doing. There's a storm brewing. There's fifty in the YouTube stream, so only like a hundred fifty. No big deal. Mm, it's not. That's not that many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm I'm seeing some familiar faces in the chat. Is that yeah, your so. actual dog? No. <laughs> it's not, is it, Don? <laughs> no, what? It's not my dog. No. Just a cool dog. It's a cool dog you found. Is that your dog? No, I wish. <laughs> I wish I had that dog. <laughs> this is like my favorite dog right now. All right, uh, cool. Q and A chill out hangout session with uh, your host HC Nun and Soft Don. Yep, 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 yep. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, do we have things in store for you? Um, <laughs> Don, as you might know, and this is HC Nun or HC Cone or whatever. No, and, no, it's um, HC Nun. No, <laughs> everyone says Cone. And it's, um, it's not it. Let me let me introduce myself a little bit. I. I am a artist who is on Twitter and Newgrounds, although I much prefer to be on Newgrounds. I do. <laughs> How you might know. Nice, nice save. You are stuttered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous, okay? I'm really nervous. Okay, listen. Um, yeah. I'm also the, uh, some you might know, I'm also the thumbnail artist for the popular online Let's Player group, Super Mega, and um, the creator of Cassette Girl. Which is not um, David's creation; it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta get that uh, and, and let me introduce myself. My name is H. Um, uh, I I'm an artist on Twitter, and and sometimes Newgrounds. Well, many times Newgrounds. Uh, but yeah, I mostly deal in pixel art. I also kind of been doing the uh, like non-pixel art stuff lately but um not lately but yeah I, I used to stream on twitch i don't anymore um and this is my first stream in like public this is my first public stream in like six months so uh excuse my rustiness um <laughs> but yeah so uh we'll just be uh just doodling uh, drawing our stuff and um we have a, a list of questions that we kind of wanted to answer that uh, we compiled a list of that we always get but um Feel free to chime in in the chat as well. Uh, and we'll we'll try to answer anything. If you have any burning questions about uh, like general art stuff, um, us as artists or whatever, um, or like things like that, uh, just feel free to just ask them in the chat, and uh, we'll just hang out and 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 BS and and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, all right. <clears throat> uh, you want Question. to start with <laughs> We can start with uh, let's let's start with Newgrounds and 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 how you came to be on Newgrounds, Don. Uh, oh yeah, um, funny story. I actually used to be on Newgrounds like um, back in two thousand and seven, but that account is long gone because I forgot my password one day. <laughs> so I made a new one in two thousand, I think thirteen. We're 14 and now I'm back, but better than ever. I I tried getting on the why why am I talking like about this? I tried getting on the front page um <laughs> a few times back in the day and I failed. I kind of gave up. And <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean I, I think that's a I think that's a, like a, a pretty common uh like yeah. problem that people have, I guess. Like how do you even get on the front page? But um like, no, uh, yeah, yeah. the um, way I found out about Newgrounds was um a friend of mine told me about this cool site that had like titty games. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, whoa, that sounds interesting. And then I found Newgrounds and I'm like, wait a minute, there's like cool people on here too. And they draw really cool. And who's this? He was this folk guy. 
And who's this uh, Stamper and, and, and Johnny Nice Mountains and um, Chris O'Neill. And I got really into it and I started watching more videos. And um, yeah, that just got me hooked. And it was, it was such a cool place to find, especially since most of the places um, I found beforehand were either very sketchy or just blocked <laughs> from my school. Uh, you say you visited from school? Yeah, I visited from school. <laughs> well, actually, I, I mean, I, I went on Newgrounds from the library. So, like, that's, that's where I used uh, internet from. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, so my Newgrounds history, I guess, it also predates my current account. I had an old account um, and I used to make flash animations. Uh, back in the day, like in the early days of Newgrounds. And, um, and my flash animations all got blammed. Uh, they no longer exist on the site because they weren't good enough to be on the portal. So, <laughs> so uh, I felt really bad about that. And then I stopped uploading stuff. Uh, but, um, well, I mean, I do think that Newgrounds has, is a, uh, has that kind of like, I guess, quality filter. It's, so you kind of know that things are going to be at least not horrible garbage, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, like, like the stuff that I was posting on there. <laughs> so um, That's the one uh, cool thing about Newgrounds, it has actual like quality control. Yeah, and well... <laughs> more the nice things, it has more nice things to it. <laughs> Yeah, and and I think the like it's it's all like human curated, right? So it's like I think it's basically just Tom Fault like curating the front page by himself. <laughs> That'd be cool. Some of it is moderators too, but I think he specifically mm -hmm. touches the art side. Like that's that's all him. I think music has a few moderators that put the music on the front page as well. But yeah, like so so that's good to know. But um. Yeah, Newgrounds has been basically the same as it's been since like 2004 or whatever. It's like for the past 15 years or 20 years, it's like it's been mostly the same, uh, which is good. And um, I mean, if you don't like change, that's good. But I mean, the, his the, the, the community still is like, I don't want to change that. I mean, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very welcoming. Uh, well, if, you're, if your heart's <laughs> good. <laughs> If your art's you're not good, getting, <laughs> you're not getting you're planned. Not getting planned. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, man. So, yeah. so, yeah, there's a bit of barrier to entry. I'll, I'll admit yeah. that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It has to be the same. Why is that? Why is it the same? It's because the people, they know uh, what's good, so they s stick with it. I, it's that... the community. It's because... Yeah. I, that and I feel like Tom is really against like he he doesn't want anything to do with your personal info or like any of your browsing or anything like that. So he's not gonna like cater to ads or like try to grow in a way that like yeah. sells the information of his users or try to work in some kind of like al algorithmic answer. So yeah. it's really it really is made for the people, you know, for the users. Yeah, and he lets me get away with a lot of shit, like these art events. He'll just, he'll just put up with it, like the sexiest outfit contest and whatnot. He's like, the community makes a website. Literally, like, if it wasn't for certain people, then Newgrounds would be, like, nothing, you know? That's just I, I do appreciate that, yeah. And, and, I, and I appreciate that you've been doing this, like, stuff uh, to, to kind of welcome newer artists onto, onto Newgrounds. Like, because cause I didn't even post on Newgrounds until um like i think a year and a half ago or so um like so i'm fairly new compared to some of the old timers but um but yeah it's been very welcoming uh i think tom felt <laughs> he, he uh he front page is literally everything i put uh which which i think means he's in love with me but um no or, it just means not. you post good shit man <laughs> <laughs> um what uh so was it the community that made you come to Newgrounds because it's hard to figure out what to do with the community. Like you, you just show up on Newgrounds and then what? You know what I mean. So what did you hear about Newgrounds yeah. that made you show up? So, so for me, like when I was on, I'm a, mostly a Twitter artist, but like on Twitter, you see these groups, kind of these groups of of like people who are like all, uh, uh, I, I call them like the Newgrounds crew, but like like Don is in it. Um, 
like you, it's it kind of goes with like the Newgrounds style, I guess. Like you, there's always the same people. It's like, hey, this these guys seem pretty cool. Uh, I kind of want to like check out what what this is all about and like kind of participate in the things that they're doing. So so like I made an account and like it was was it was very um welcoming. So like I was like, hey, this is this place has it is something special. And I, and I had the history with Newgrounds too, like, <laughs> but like, I never really considered coming back after the, after getting bland and stuff, but um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not salty about that at all. <laughs> I mean, you came think, back, so. Yeah. It's all that matters. <laughs> you saw you cool came back, people. You're giving, you're giving Newgrounds your hard earned cash. That's all that matters. Yeah, three dollars a month, baby, or twenty five a year, baby. I like I, how I, I, I like how like one yeah. of your drawings you get like maybe like twelve thousand likes on Twitter, and then you post it on Newgrounds gets maybe like two thousand views. Like, it's a it's a smaller community. I mean, I'm not I'm not expecting like huge amounts of views or anything. On yeah, but that's the <clears> point <throat> though. That's it's like anyone who posts in Newgrounds, it's not for clout in any way. It's just because you oh, like yeah, the yeah. community and you wanted to add something to it. You're you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's right. yeah. That's still that's one thing that like like got me into Newgrounds is the community mainly is because I honestly met like some of the coolest people off of Newgrounds or some of my closest friends are like big Newgrounds advocates. Like um, if it if it hadn't been if it hasn't been for Newgrounds, I wouldn't have met some of my closest friends. Honestly. Like even yeah. if even if I haven't met them on the side, it's just that Newgrounds talking about Newgrounds being part of it has like connected me to so many people. Oh yeah. So speaking of Newgrounds, um, like so one thing I one thing we were talking about is what exactly like Newgrounds has a style. Uh, <laughs> what is the Newgrounds style? <laughs> Wait, do you remember? Do you remember it blowing up on Twitter and it was like Newgrounds art style versus Cal art style? You remember that? <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember that. New, and then I remember seeing something. It was like the new ground style was like a school shooting, and then the Cal Art style was like just a regular drawing. <laughs> so. Oh, jeez, I didn't. I actually didn't see that one. But school uh, shooting <laughs> joke. What the heck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what Pico School was based off of, right? Come on. Oh well, yeah, I mean sure, but. No, but that was it. Was a good joke. It was a good one. I, Newground, what is Newground style? What Flash CS three? <laughs> is that what it is? Johnny I think Utah? the Newground style. <laughs> to me, the Newground style is basically, you know, stuff that doesn't take itself too serious. You know. Yeah. It's 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 um, basically anything. You know, what? here's a really cool comparison. I think the Newground style is something, is 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 um. It's like a Sam Raimi movie, right? It's, it's <laughs> wacky. It's funny. It has some weird moments, but overall, it's just it's it it tries to like it doesn't take itself too serious, but it somehow um it somehow uh delivers the message of itself very like in a very good tone. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I like like that. it can be it can be as 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 um gory or as like harsh looking whatever but it it never feels like it takes itself too serious and just looks like fun it's just fun that's what it, it, it is comes. fun yeah that's, so, the, so the main thing i noticed people are like there's a lot of like kind of uh i'm in a i'm, I, I'm in a twitter artist world where it's like all basically all anime and like uh but i think newgrounds is like a more um kind of loose and uh uh, fun style and like uh, people aren't afraid to like kind of go wild and so it's a uh, mm -hmm. I, I think that's what makes it fun um people are and newgrounds kind of birth birthed like things like memes like strawberry clock or or uh uh freaking all your base um yeah <laughs> over nine thousand, like all the weirdest shit came out of like newgrounds so yeah like all your base is actually i think 20 20 years old now. Oh my like, god. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah, it came, on, it came on freaking yeah, 1999 was it? Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I remember. I think it's I think it's from that free thinking you're just being able to do whatever you're comfortable with it. You know, mm -hmm. you can and, kind of experiment. And the reason I think people associate the new ground style with like gross 
or like really silly faces and and shit. Can I say shit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And shit. shit. Um, <laughs> it's mainly because you know people just want to draw that. They think it's it's fun. It's fun to draw uh silly stuff. It's fun to draw wacky faces. It's it's fun to draw really disgusting shit. Yeah. And when you do that, and you really mean it, you can people can tell. People can tell you had fun drawing it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I think that's 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 actually really a, uh, a good point. Like, you can definitely tell if someone has has fun drawing something. Like, yeah. Uh, it, it just comes out in their artwork, and and you see a lot of that in new grounds, and like it's it's exactly. Just... <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I also like to draw like goofy faces, and anyone who follows me on Twitter knows that I like sometimes shit post with a lot of um with my characters uh <laughs> I, I remember you at one time where you were like should i calm down on the shit post and just make a second account where i just shit post all the time it's like no dude we, yeah. we're here for that like that's what we like <laughs> this shit's awesome now so, I, yeah i'm I definitely guess, gonna do more of that <laughs> i guess the question is does newgrounds inspire you guys like directly though does it give back to you guys in any form of inspiration or is it just nice to give to the community um, well, for me, like, I, I really love the, the review comment. Like, I, it's kind of weird. The review system here is also kind of section, but, uh, like some of my favorite, um, comments on my art is, is from Newgrounds and like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, everyone's so funny. Um, they're all comedians. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, I, the, uh, everyone yeah. says that everyone says they like the reviews from Newgrounds. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of intimidating honestly for uh like when i first came i was like i don't like this review system like uh you know giving star points to uh to art um it's it's kind of whatever to me but like i don't know it's it's just part of the legacy i guess so well I'm that's, that's a good point though because coming from twitter you can only like you can yeah. only get hearts and retweets it's a very like a flat line of oh, did you like this no okay you scroll by it or you yeah. leave a shitty comment, I guess. But in Newgrounds, you're getting like a like oh a star system and favorites and people in the reviews trying to go in depth because there's that system of stars and, and ratings, yeah. and they want to be justified. That's nice. What's that one guy who who leaves uh almost zero um uh five star reviews? He he's always like his his highest one is like three and a half or something. Oh my god, everyone brings this guy up. He's a fucking <laughs> legend. Luke Valentine Art was talking about this yesterday. It's X Wayne Colt X. Everyone, I've, every artist I've ever talked to has fucking brought him up at some point. <laughs> He'll be like, change nothing. This is a masterpiece. Three and a half. <laughs> Alright, bud. <laughs> yeah. oh, I gotta send him a message. I gotta get him on the podcast. <laughs> like, yeah, ask him what he, what's going through his head. <laughs> We were looking into it back in 2009. He did give like five star reviews, but it's it's not like that anymore. I guess rarity. <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> it's a one. It's a one in a lifetime chance. Well, that's like his legacy. He is the most reviews. Like that's who he is. He's carved himself a path through that. It's it's almost like it's almost like you're able to look up to that. You know, like you just stay dedicated to one thing long enough, then <laughs> everyone's gonna know you. I guess. God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And Newgrounds is a place for that, I guess. On Twitter, mm -hmm. it'd get annoying if someone was posting long ass reviews and it's like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> or like, That's three, yeah. one, like, though, like in, on Newgrounds, everything is an art form. Like, even the comments is somehow an art form. <laughs> so good. <laughs> on, on Twitter, if you start shit like that, it would get annoying so fast. But on Newgrounds, people will applaud you. People want to have you on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I, I don't know if you guys know who uh, XX Squidward XX is, but he makes like the, the weirdest form of animation possible. It's like super whiny voice, super crazy animation style. And it's like almost shit posting, but he's a fucking legend for it, for doing that. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's someone else who literally makes like the most random games ever just shit post them it'll be like uh tom fault rap it'll be like um uh masturbation simulator or smoke meth with friends and then he'll wow. just fucking just throw out the most random shit 
and he's a legend for that too. Like it doesn't matter <laughs> what you're doing, but as long as you're creating something and making a name for yourself, like people catch on. Uh, that person I was talking about was Zabu Jard, and a, a lot of people should know him just because um, of the shit post quality that he does. And, it's, <laughs> it's, and like you said, Clock Crew, like what the fuck is that even? And or Kitty Crew back in the day. Like it's just it's just creating animations and stuff for the sake of it, it and it works. You're just allowed to get away with it, and I don't know. I've never seen anyone try to take a break from Newgrounds. I've always seen people take breaks from Twitter all the time. Oh yeah, you know, Twitter itself is uh, <laughs> well. There's a lot of non-art stuff on there that leaks onto your timeline, uh, and, mm-hmm. and it and a lot of it's depressing. So, uh, uh, like, so I, I try to keep my timeline very, very curious. Like, I only follow artists, and and if they like start posting drama or whatever I, I i mute them or um, mm-hmm. or whatever so it's yeah. like i try to keep it kind of curated but it, even though i do that like, like all this like stupid drama keeps keeps getting on my timeline so it, um it, yeah <laughs> it's also because most people on Newgrounds are in a better mood because they don't have to look at you know look at depressing shit every day <laughs> <laughs> all they have to look at is well, there's a girl with big tits, and then there's a poop joke right there. That's all I need. <laughs> I can continue living after seeing that. Yeah, that's oh all. I, that's all I need. My sustenance are ready. Um, <laughs> you want, want to, let's go to the next question. We've we've talked. Yeah. yeah so, so speaking of new ground style, your style, like personal style. How did you develop your personal style? How- um. You want me to go? Or you- yeah, you can go. Okay. So, funny thing, I don't think I have a style yet. I feel like, to me at least, I feel like um, my style is an amalgamation of just things I like. But mm-hmm. it hasn't been, it hasn't, you know, manifested into the style that I think I have. It's more like, um, I'm just drawing, like, in any way I want right now. But I haven't found anything concrete. Like, if I wanted to draw... In a more serious tone, I will. It's more, um, how should I put it? Um, I feel like my my style is just like parts of my art are just simple imitations of other people. For now, that I just put my own spin on it. That's how I feel about my style. That's that's exactly what style is, though, right? Like, I, I think, yeah, I know, um... but like, I have it doesn't feel like a concrete style to me. Just. It doesn't. I don't think I'll ever have that feeling of like, oh, I have a style. It's more, you know, oh, I just draw similar to this dude, or I, I I'm really inspired by this guy, but you know, with something else. I never. I would never think of my my art having a certain style. So so I I would say that like your art is instantly recognized, though. Like so, that's I think. Um, when you say st- when we say style, like, uh, so this is my like answer for this. Um, so when you find a style, uh, it's like, um, I don't think you like consciously try to make a style. Like, it, like you said, it's an amalgamation of kind of like influ- different influences, and like, uh, it kind of just comes out on its own. Like, it's 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 like handwriting. Like, you can't really like. It, you just learn how to write, and and the writing that comes out is recognizable as. <laughs> so it's like, uh, I, I guess there's like different style in, in terms of like how you do your line work, uh, how you do your yeah. like coloring and things like that. Um, but like, even though you ch- kind of change that stuff, like it'll still be recognizable as, as yours. Uh, I well, feel like. Yeah, that's um, that's what I'm trying to go for. It's to me, it's more like. I guess I don't really want to have a style that's, um, mm. I don't know, whenever someone mentions style, I always think of like, oh, we, if you draw, if you, um, you know, you draw an arm, you're instantly recognized as that person. I, I don't think I have something like that. Or mm. I try not to have something like that. It's more, um, I want to be able to recreate any kind of style I want. But yeah, I do also want that recognizability. Like, um. Okay, here's the thing. One of my biggest inspiration, uh, you guys might have heard of him, uh, Yo Yoshinari from uh, yeah. anime. <laughs> um, he he has a very unique style, and and that is um, 
he can go from super he can go from realistic to super anime to very cartoony but no matter what way he goes it's still you can still recognize him as you know him yeah and that is what i'm trying to go for too so you're trying to be basically makes... like a variable artist with like many yeah basically utilities. i'm just i'm trying to be a jack of all trades but do you feel like you stick to a certain theme more than others? Is there any theme that you you enjoy? Like not not so much um, how you draw, but what you like to draw, like the content. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. If if we're talking about content, I'm really into um, like just weird shit, just stuff that like comes out of the woodwork, something that doesn't make sense. It's a bit psychedelic. It's a bit trippy, but it's just I like weirdness. I really like weirdness in art. I like playing with colors. I like playing with um perspective proportions everything that's like my thing i really like that now uh, who okay so where do you get that fix from if you can, if you can't draw like who do you follow these days is it just that one artist that you were talking about that that switches oh, no 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 um no i follow um a couple of artists a lot of them are from twitter a lot of them are also friends i take more inspiration from from local artists you know like oh. um people that you would find online because to me um following really big artists like you know trigger animators and, and stuff it feels less attainable but if but following you know more local artists like people on twitter people on newgrounds um it feels like oh i can do this if i put more work into it let's see but that's yeah. that's me <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what about you, H HC Nun? Where do you get your style from? How did you develop that? So, um, so basically, I just drew a lot of uh, um, like pixel art. Like, so, so this is how I uh, got online, I guess. Um, so I, I drew, I've drawn all my life, but um, uh, I didn't really uh, take it seriously or anything, and I kind of discovered this app called um dot picked and uh it was it's a it's a pixel art app on that you can run on your phone um and i started drawing on that and just doing uh like drawing pictures of anime girls in, in like 32 by 32 uh uh squares right and like and it was and it was strangely uh fun and 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 like during my commute like to work like i was doing that and like it was uh it was fun and I, I just posted it on, on insta like just tagging them as pixel or i just posted them on insta like not expecting any like kind of views or anything like that um like it was mostly for my friends but like and then uh so drawing pixel art that kind of i, I don't know why pixel art just just kind of like stuck to me but like uh i, I think it's because it's kind of like how i i like my main my daily job is 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 like coding so it, i think pixel art is kind of like coding like you just you uh you move one pixel around and it changes the entire picture and <laughs> like kind of like code where you you kind of move stuff around uh like try different things out and if if it doesn't like you change it in a weird way and it breaks the entire co uh, program so so i was doing this um just like pixel art anime girls and for some reason like it got really popular uh, <laughs> uh, just slowly, little by little, like on 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 Insta, and then uh, I posted on Twitter, and that's when it kind of blew up. But um, like, it, this is just sort of an evolution of that of that of the pixel art. Like, I got lazy, and I wanted to uh, like I didn't want to like clean up all the pixel art and stuff. Like, do the whole um, anti-aliasing uh, thing to to kind of tell what story I wanted to tell. Like or some whatever narrative is is showing up in this picture, so I, I got lazy and I just started doing like this thing, like kind of this this rough rough look, and it and it kind of became my style, I guess, because I just kept doing it. <laughs> but cause it was it's mostly rooted in me being lazy, too lazy to to do anti aliasing and dithering and 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 actual like pixel art stuff. So, <laughs> um, but I, I I think I guess it's now recognizable as an hc none style so uh so that worked out i guess but <laughs> are you taking notes don you just gotta be lazy man then you get your style <laughs> what do you mean 
Say I'm fine. I'll get my cell when I get a freaking degree. You need to get a degree. Geometry, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Right. Well, those are your okay. what makes beginner stories. That's my yeah. These are our, um, humble, origins. Humble yes. origins. So, so what's your origin, Don? I think my we origin. talked about this before, but yeah. Oh yeah, I... I dropped out of the hospital bed and I fell on my head and I became an artist. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it takes. Brain damage. Yeah. That's what it. <laughs> that's what it takes. A big old dent to put all your pencils in. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't imagine okay. coming out to your parents that you're an artist. You know that must be really tough. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> my parents actually, actually know. Brings, that actually brings another good point. Um, how did your parents react when you told them I do art for a living? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know if you do art for a living, my bad. I don't actually do art for a living. My, I have a day job and they don't know that I do art as a hobby. So uh, what if they found <laughs> out? What if they found, I mean, the, then it's probably fine. Like I don't do any, like, I don't do anything like NSFW They'd or be weird. Like, wow, you draw anime girls in weird pixelated boxes. Like, <laughs> banned. They're like, yeah, as long as long as you're able to, you know, pay for a living. Uh, yeah, that's all right, probably, you know, all right that's here. important. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it's the only people who actually know that I'm a uh, an artist uh, online is uh, my my SO and my uh, my very close best friends. What do they think about your art? They don't care at all. They don't care at all. Yeah, that's how I like it. Yeah, that's how I like it. Like we don't talk about art or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. that's, that's that's pretty cool. They're like, yeah, you, you have you have a you have X number of Twitter followers. Yeah, who cares? That's fine. They don't give a shit. And you're like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> this feels kind of good. <laughs> so so I have my own circle of art friends that I uh, hang out with online. I, I don't actually know any like real life. Well, so before the before the pandemic, I, I, or before I moved to. Uh, to a completely different city from where I used to be. Like I had some friends who were artists. They're not like famous online or anything, but yeah. Uh, like we'd hang out and draw and stuff. But um, like this was before I, I, I started the HC None account. Like, so I, like I didn't post anything online. Or okay. Bungalow artist. <laughs> when it, yeah. Um, Your parents. My parents. My parents know that I draw, but I never show them anything, ever. They never ask? They ask a lot, and I never show them. <laughs> you <anything>. said no. Oh. <laughs> it's because I know, I know my dad, and my dad loves to fucking dick around and just fucking bother me about this shit. <laughs> every time I show him something cool, he's like, oh, hmm, how's, how's it today? Like, every single day. I told him once that, um... I was making, like, I was getting a 3D printer so I can make toys. He's like, oh, hmm, how's that going, huh? And he, he asked me this every single day, and he's like, oh, can I can I touch it? Can I can I try it? Can you show me? I'm like, I, I want to show you. <laughs> and and then <laughs> when I do show him, he, like, he looks really unimpressed. He's like, oh, hmm, I heard in China they're doing it for cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. You you worked you worked in a factory before. I get it. I know how cheap this is, but this is me time. Okay, <laughs> I, I tore my dad off. I grabbed his Crocs. Man, what the fuck kind of yeah. support is that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's just I don't know. Every time I tell my parents something, they always have like some sort of remark that like just throws me off. It's nothing bad. It's just. Man, I am confused, so I, I just don't bother with it anymore. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's just hard for some people to grip, like, what art is. Because yeah. you figure I host these events literally just so I can talk about art for once. Because I, I got nobody yeah. to talk to art about. And then, like, I'm not some, like, profound artist or nothing. It's I just like art, so I support it. And it's yeah. like, if I try to bring that up to anybody that I... I interact with like on the daily like maybe my coworkers, maybe even like my parents their their fucking eyes fucking glaze over and they change the subject <laughs> like within 15 seconds and i'm like okay <laughs> like, all right i yeah. guess I'll, I'll have to find someone to talk to art with <laughs> that's what I, I think that's the the a huge benefit of these online talk to people who are uh who are on the same wavelength and it's like you, yeah 
like it's it's a lot difficult to to do that in your local area or whatever like especially if you're living in like like a rural area or something where there's not a lot of people to begin with and like uh so the online like community like uh, like again newgrounds <laughs> yeah <laughs> or twitter or whatever is is like i think it's 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 been a huge like uh like shift for 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 artists in general like how how we can interact and like kind of kind of enjoy our hobbies together and stuff and even survive mm -hmm. off of it these days i mean with patreon oh, and yeah. like kickstarters sure. or whatever you can get a lot going and get the right collaborations like artists yeah. find programmers next thing you know they're making games and shit and it's it's just weird it, I, can't I, wait. Yeah. I think uh just showing someone digital art is difficult because they don't they don't understand like oh okay it's digital art like that's I'm like, yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Like, what do you, it looks good. Like, I enjoy this shit. What do you mean? Well, I mean, yeah, it's like, if you're not interested in the, that's, that's what you're going to be like. You're going to, Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like me and I don't know, like freaking, uh, automobiles, like cars. Like, oh I, my like God. I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> me too. People will be, be like, Oh, look at that fast car over there. Look at that new model. Look at that. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like I paid, <laughs> I paid two grand for my, like my truck. I'm good with that. Like, I don't care what it looks like. It gets me from point A to B. The motor looks good. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't care how sleek this new car looks like. It's just like people spend money on different shit, you know? And it's to yeah. me, I would not spend money on like having a yeah. fast car. Like that's just not, yeah. Me. And that's, that's exactly what i mean people who, are, who don't actually care about art is like for for you know they're, they're like yeah it's it's a thing that i don't really know anything about or, or care about so holy like, shit. you can't expect them to uh you're right <laughs> i never looked at it that way it's exactly how they feel <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah man i never saw it that way you got me there yeah so that's why you gotta hang out with people who kind of like are interested in the same hobby you are so you can actually yeah. like talk to them about it and stuff and that's okay. once covid's <laughs> over bro i'm starting a club or something Art yeah appreciation co club we'll get together we'll paint or something yeah know. yeah per i mean that's perfect like like a local thing is is always fun and like like meeting people online and, and doing discord streams and stuff like that is 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 fun but it's kind of no substitute for for actually yeah meeting people in the real world and, yeah you and, guys mm -hmm. you guys can't see my facial expressions you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i could be looking at you so, some type of way right now you know it's also like it's also just a physical contact like um whenever i talk with my online friends about art we do get it like heated arguments and you just want to fight and you can't do that online <laughs> but in person that's a different story yeah uh, you can physically fight them oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Don, you got a lot of pent up <laughs> rage. <laughs> I don't. Now, now tell us how that involves your art style. Um, <laughs> uh, I, love, I love drawing people being beat up. I love <laughs> oh, man. So, so yeah, I mean, like, um, that's that's definitely going to be a thing when I when COVID's over. I'm gonna like so art fight? so. Literally. Yes, art, art fights and going to like, art, uh, I'm, I'm really gonna appreciate it, like being able to do that now. Like yeah. when I used to go to artist alleys and stuff, it was just like, yeah, just go, um, going through and just like buying stuff that I kind of want to like care about. But like, I think once the pandemic's over, I feel like I'm just gonna go through artist alleys and actually try to like talk to artists and stuff, <laughs> interact, yeah, yeah, and interact with them and things like that. So it's like. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I, I've I've come to appreciate like interaction more, and and just like knowing that like it can just go away at any moment. It's like, mm. you know, yeah, you can't just be isolated all the time. Just draw in your room all the time. Yeah, right, right? right guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's IRL friends is is. Like the, the thing about online is like if, if people live close to you, like you can do a meetup or whatever and, and they can become your IRL friends. So it's like, um, and I think that's, that's, it, that's exactly what it's like uh, Pico Day or whatever is about. Like, <clears throat> I, I've never been to a Pico Day because uh, I've, I, like, I didn't really join Newgrounds until like, uh, I think the Have tail end of the, the very beginning or the or like uh like slightly before the pandemic so it's like you know i never even thought about going to pico day but mm. um 
or I think you need to need an invite anyway, right? Yeah, Tom invites you. Know? you. But if you show yeah. up with someone who's invited, I mean, what are they, what are they gonna <laughs> do? Like start jumping you? <laughs> you know? That's you're gonna show up to a pico day. Oh, guaranteed, Tom invites me to a fucking pico day. Because if he doesn't, I'm just gonna send him a, a strongly worded PM. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, the fucking programmer for Newgrounds is on the podcast. Like we're good friends. So even even if I'm not invited, Josh, I'll just show up and hang out with Josh. Like I'll be good. Like Psycho Goldfish, <laughs> he programs for Newgrounds. He's on the podcast, and we've known each other for like over a year now. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to Pico Day. I don't know what could stop me. I, I am definitely coming back. I went there. I've only been once, and I've had honestly the best time of my life. I went to before that even like earlier that year. Um, I went to a big anime convention, and I fucking hated it. Like I, I would rather go to little silly old uh, Philly and have a Newgrounds Day. Yeah, yeah. Newgrounds should have a bigger, like a bigger convention than like an actual Newgrounds convention. Well, you, like you a, figured their website was really niche for a while until fucking Friday Night Funkin' came and, out. <laughs> you know, that's the biggest thing since fucking sliced bread. Like Jesus Christ! And then once that. once people day is rolling back out again, there's gonna be so many people asking, "How do I get in? How do I get in?" I know. And we're so gonna have to barricade the doors. We're gonna have to be like, we're gonna have to have them fill out questionnaires. Like, uh, what is Newgrounds known for? And then they write Friday Night Funk, and we just shoot them in the chest. We pile the bodies in the bag. <laughs> that's that's a little violent. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my we're bad. Gonna have, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, we're, gonna let, we're gonna let Dave have the honor. <laughs> yeah, Dave signing autographs in the back, and then we just jump them. We just beat their. <laughs> It's, it's, it's Dave in the bag with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Man. Yeah, I do I do like the idea of a bigger venue. Like any way to bring more money to new grounds in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> I, I I think cons are like a money loss uh sort of deal. Like uh it's like a I mean more of a marketing expense than a than an actual money maker. <laughs> I mean we could pull a con. That that'd be cool, like a pyramid scheme. Like a pyramid scheme, yeah. Yeah, like a yeah. con. Like not a convention. Uh, like an, I, I, yeah. Con. yeah. <laughs> like an yeah. actual con. Yeah. yeah. Here. Uh <laughs> I don't know how to get new grounds involved, but there's a way to do it. We just gotta we gotta brainstorm here, folks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't. If you buy these uh, Friday Night Funkin' figurines for me at a cheap price of fifty dollars a pop, then you can sell them to other people for seventy dollars a pop because it's actually a we'll really you, rare figure. That's I'm gonna give you live action uh, Ninja Muffin bath water. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Let's get Cam in here. This is brilliant. We got this. <laughs> Ninja Speaking of which, he used to be on the podcast. He's not anymore. Everyone's is gonna show up and just fucking swarm him. That's it. That's what Pico Day is gonna be. It's gonna be Friday night funky yeah. day. That's all it is. <laughs> is he too big for the podcast now? No, he's not too big for the podcast. He's so fucking busy. That dude's programming like a like a champ. Yeah. I, I have a prediction. I have what? a prediction here. What? In the future, when, when Friday Night Funkin' really picks up, and I mean really pick up, people are gonna be like, Whoa, new grounds like in Friday Night Funkin'? <laughs> Like a Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> They'll have a Friday Night Funkin' con, and Newgrounds will just be a tiny part. You mean, you mean Tank Man from Friday Night Funkin'? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, can't wait until... Oh, is that Tom Fulp from Friday Night Funkin'? And it's, <laughs> it's like Tom Fulp in real life, they're just pointing at him, be like, he was in Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> it's the Popster, guys, check it out. Look at him, he thinks he's cool or something. I don't know. <laughs> Can that girl on Friday Night Funkin' win? They tease that, like, forever ago. Oh, shit. Is that microphone and speaker from Friday Night Funkin'? <laughs> microphone and speaker. Is that a microphone from Friday Night Funkin'? Fuck. <laughs> it's got- Oh, I swear to God, it's gonna become the next Among Us. It's gonna be the next Among Us. It almost oh. is. It's already Undertale at this point, I feel like. Jesus. Yeah. Wait, hold on. It's already Undertale. It's already Jacksepticeye Markiplier. It's, like, everything now. I wonder what the Kickstarter's at. It's gotta be. It's at a lot. It's over a million, I think. One point three right now. Dang. They're almost. They're it's... almost about to get erect difficulty. <laughs> okay, we gotta. We gotta pick this up. Let's um. Let's get another um. Another question, question in here. Yeah. Okay. So I got one. Um. How how do you stay in shape for art? How do you practice? Ooh. How do you practice? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. like how do you how do you not get stale after you know after you've been you know working on this for so long? Uh, so I'll an- I'll try to answer this first, and then you can do it, I guess. Um, so uh, I-, I bought a bunch of art books, um, like anatomy books and like uh, how to draw stuff like that. Um, uh, so I'm going through them now to get ins- inspiration on like some more like uh, uh, like kind of how to how to push my art more. Uh, to be more interesting and to be more dynamic and and stuff like that. So <clears throat> one of my goals, I guess, is, for the next couple of years is to like get super good at like um, like crazy angles and and dynamic mm-hmm. poses and stuff like that. Like because uh, that's the kind of stuff I want to do. Like um, uh, like so so there's this guy who um, I think works for Twitter or that uh, Trigger. Um, or used to work for Gynex, and like um, he has an art book out, and I've been reading that. Um, I think it's uh, Hiroyuki Im- 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 something. something. Imaishi? Imaishi, yeah. Yeah, Imaishi. That, his, his, uh, like, that's exactly like kind of how I want to do stuff. Like, he, he's a, a yeah. huge inspiration. So, um, like, so, so the, the crazy angles and like crazy uh, uh, things like that, I, I kind of want to do. So, I'm, I'm trying to like kind of iteratively get to there um mm. so every new piece i make like i kind of want to like implement some kind of learning uh from from these art books or from these inspirations or from like some anatomy book or or whatever um so uh like it's not always the case sometimes i get lazy just poop something out that's like uh um, some some goofy face guy or something, because uh, <laughs> I'm tired and, and cranky from work. But like, uh, I, I think this year I've been trying to kind of push my stuff more um, to to be more interesting in terms of like composition and stuff. Mm. Uh, but yeah, like it doesn't have to be like a, a huge drastic change every, every time. It can just be iterative. Like like each piece can just have like a small learning implemented in it. And just like, uh, and and if you keep doing that, like um, like half a year later, you'll look back at your other your stuff, and you'll be like, "Wow, I actually kind of did improve." Like, uh, or like even like, so I look back at my stuff two years ago. It's like all I could do was draw faces. Like I didn't even draw like anything below the neck. <laughs> so like, because I could, I just couldn't do it. But yeah, so I look at it now, and it's like, oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I kind of improved, um, and and I have a long ways to go. But uh, you know, I, I think now that I have that experience, I know that like if I just push myself a little bit uh, each time, like not a, not even a lot, just a little bit, like each time, like it's a, a huge. Uh, in, in six months or a year, it'll be a huge difference, and like I don't think people should expect to be like uh, art masters in like a couple months or anything, like. It's yeah. it'll take years, and 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 I'm I'm still just starting on that journey. So, you know what? I never thought of it that way. Yeah, we do just gotta take small steps. I always I always try to do like you know to try out new techniques and and stuff all at once. Yeah, and um, in the end, it just doesn't mesh. But it's probably because I try to you know rush things. I gotta take things so I gotta figure out how to do one thing before I start the next. And um. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. I totally and, and, forgot that I like, need to learn to, you know, improve. <laughs> <laughs> as funny as that sounds, I don't actively go out of my way to look up new techniques or learn new things to improve my art. I I'm, I guess I'm just hoping that I will absorb stuff if I'm, yeah. if I'm close enough to Mr. Talent's tentacle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you still gotta, like, do your... Like, you don't have to do studies. You just mm-hmm. have to kind of consciously uh, yeah. consciously put effort into into like um at least one thing like one thing about the art that like kind of is different from the previous things you've done uh it's like yeah it doesn't have to be like a huge difference like it can just and no one has to even notice that it's there uh it's just like just, as long as you know that like you you made this conscious decision uh yeah. to to make this improvement here i think i think that's the important thing yeah yeah 
I think I think it was during Bacon and Piku's stream that we were talking about like when to expect growth and you shouldn't expect it like right away, but over the course of like six months, like you were saying, like if you look back, you'll see like where you improved and what you improved on. Like it's it's very gradual. Mm hmm. So, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't happen at once. It happens in doses. And so, yeah, so you can't be like frustrated. You, you shouldn't be frustrated. Like, uh, like you're not instantly better. Like after a study, like it, it, it'll take time and it'll take like, like, you know, dozens of art, uh, pieces that you, that you actually like kind of consciously put effort into, but like every art piece doesn't have to be a masterpiece. It just like, um, and, and, and I, <laughs> and I like to try to have fun, uh, fun with each one. Uh, so it's like, so it's not like a huge slog uh, of studies to do, <laughs> and and I'm not I'm not under some deadline or anything. So it's like, you know, uh, like I, I feel like just taking it slow and 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 kind of enjoying the process is a is the way to go. Yeah, exactly. So the same question to you then, Dan. How do you stay sharp at drawing? Um. I wish I knew. <laughs> okay. um, I, it's I for me. I don't focus on you know. Um, what I do is I just scribble a lot, and that usually helps me. You know, have um, have the confidence I have to draw these lines, and um, <clears throat> I think that's also why I have um. I, mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to well, stay well, sharp, to... man? You just yeah, doodle. Well, uh, yeah, I just doodle. That's it. Um, that, that's the thing. You just... It's a great way to practice. Not just it's <laughs> not. It doesn't help you practice. You know, it doesn't help you better understand anatomy. It doesn't help you understand color. What it helps you is it helps your line confidence. It helps you draw faster. It helps you draw smoother. That's and that's honestly, you know, what I do the most. Because it's the easiest. That, that's another question that I kind of wanted to answer. How do you draw? And it's like, how do you finish faster? And like, and like you said, I think it's uh, just doing it. Like, the more you do it, the faster it becomes. Like, exactly. So, so like when I was drawing like these stupid anime faces two years ago, it took me like an entire week to draw one face. Um, and and now I can just do that in like like ten minutes or or less. So it's like, it's just, just the more you do it. It, uh, uh, I think um, it, it you just kind of get used to it, and it's like you know, experience is is a is what makes things faster. It doesn't make it better, honest. Uh, mm -hmm. Like to be to be better, you have to actually try to be better. But like the more you do it, um, it you'll just get naturally faster. So like I, I think uh, like f um, when you're drawing, I think when something's not working out, I think it's better to quickly restart and just draw uh, draw more instead of trying to fix the the thing that you're working on for like, you know, a month or, or whatever until you're like totally burned out on drawing and sick of it. Mm -hmm. um, like just just quickly restart and just draw it again. Um, the, since the more you do it, the, the, the faster you'll get. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just experience. And like knowing when you're done, is another mm -hmm. thing that like people have trouble with. Is, oh uh... yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you think? Um. No. Yeah. No. Exactly. Like, um, an important thing that people need to learn, especially early on, is when to stop. As um, especially if you're a perfectionist, you just need to know when to stop. When you when you know it's enough, it's it just it keeps you from overworking things and making it either worse or not as impressive as your initial idea mm -hmm. it also keeps like the idea fresh because if you work too much on it it's just gonna change it's just gonna get more um it's like using a knife you know the more you use a knife the the duller it gets so the more you work on a drawing past it's you know prime if you don't mm -hmm. know how to stop it's just gonna get duller and duller yeah i agree um at a certain and, and that's also comes with experience like at a, at a certain point you know that it's not gonna look any better the more time you spend on it so it's like i guess giving yourself a deadline kind of works too there it's like but yeah. like so when i'm done with an art is uh, is when i'm like just sick of 
working on it. And like, I, I think once you get to a point where you're sick of looking at it, I think that's a good place to stop. Like if you're... <laughs> but it's also, it's also like, you also got to learn when to get sick of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and again, that comes with the experience, I guess. Yeah, that just comes with experience. But hey, the good thing about experience is there's there's never a shortage. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah, god, just... that was the corniest thing you said so far. <laughs> okay, well, you come up with something better, dude. Uh, uh, eat, pray, love, draw. There we go. Got it. I'm um, gonna give you that. Someone <laughs> asked. Someone asked. Uh, how do you make your uh, how do you make your characters express? Easy, very easy. easy, extremely easy. It's so easy. I don't even have to explain it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that's the answer right there. So I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. I. I don't know. Actually, that's a very hard question. Um. I don't know how to make characters more expressive. I guess it's um. For me, expressions have to be, like, on the more cartoony sides. Um, I think even in very serious media, um, having a more cartoony expression really adds to, you know, the drawing or the, the emotion of the thing you're drawing. Mm -hmm. Like, if I drew something that looks more... If I drew an expression for something that looks more realistic, it's just going to look like a stock image. It's going to look like a meme, you know? Yeah. But if you make it a bit more cartoony, like over the top, it's it, it adds a lot, really. It's because subtlety, people aren't very good at, like, um, people are very good at noticing subtlety, right, mm -hmm. in, in people's faces. Like, the subtle changes in their muscles if they, if they have certain expressions. So if you amp that up in a drawing, it's just going to express that way more. And people are having it, are going to have an easier time, like, knowing what your character is, you know, expressing, basically yeah and yeah i mean like i agree i i think like anime like, people kind of shit on anime but but like anime is a very good uh example of how 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 uh you can ex make like goofy expressions um even if it's like a like a serious style like you look at like the 80s 90s animes and like like sailor moon or something like or tenshi muyo or whatever and it's like y you have these like super deformed like uh like expressive faces like they go crazy and 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 that's kind of my biggest like influence i guess those and um i, I think the single biggest influence in terms of like my expressions though is uh is invader zim uh jonan vasquez's art is like he he's one of my biggest inspirations from my uh younger days um so like i i love making like like screaming characters because because <laughs> because invader zim had screaming characters like they just scream all the time it's <laughs> and that's uh i i think that's what people uh what passes for expression um like like i, I make people like scream and people are like oh you're so expressive uh <laughs> so it's like uh yeah just just watch invader zim yeah or <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> Go through any of your uh, avatars or portraits where you just like fuck with your characters' faces, especially skies. You've done some. Yeah, like... let me. Look, they're already in chat. <laughs> they already posted it in chat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I that's, think... that's one of my emotes. I think fa I think expressions are inherently just funny. Even if you look at someone, if you look at an actor, like a serious actor in a serious scene crying, you freeze frame it and just look at it. It's yeah. funny as hell. <laughs> 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 it's like. Man, that's such a funny face. Look at all those wrinkles and the tears. Like, man, what is up with this dude? Yeah, but then you put it in like a serious context yeah. and you're like, hey, this is really expressive. It's all about, exactly. It's all about the context. You can make any express. Yeah, like I said, expressions are inherently funny and the context is important and it makes it serious. Yeah. Just pretend your audience has Asperger's and make it as dramatic yeah. as possible. Like, in your expression. That they're just not going to understand unless you really go for it. Yeah, I mean, putting making it explicit is, is uh, I think, important. Um, like, uh, like, but, I don't know, when, when it's, like, kind of, like, an space, I, I think there's kind of for that, too. But uh, that's, that's just knowing when to kind of, that's another way of, like, expressing something with a, you know, with, with kind of, like, a poker face. But, um, yeah. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> you stumped? Uh, I think we're... Do you have anything else to add about expressions? Or do you um, think... Yeah, look in the mirror. There's a really funny one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Hey, that's, I mean, that's what people do. Uh, like, yeah. like the animators uh, actually have a mirror on their desk to look at their face to, to, to do expressions. So that's an actual good advice. Here's a, little, here's a little Newgrounds history lesson. One of my favorite uh, expressions back in the day was the Eagle Raptor O face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Where, where like, I remember he, he just took a picture of him doing the O-Face and then traced it and just put it on everything he had. <laughs> and, he made... <laughs> and it was the funniest thing I saw. Man. There you go. Expressions 101. Be expressive. <laughs> B-E expressive. Expressive. Be it just, it's going to help you. B-E expressive. There you go. Look in the face. Make funny faces. Look at, how about look at people in real life and just make you the most expressive face you can and just judge their reaction. Tell me if they don't understand, yeah. like, what you're doing. They fix the babies. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they will <won't> judge you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, fan art versus original art. Like, how do you balance those in your kind of content? Uh, and do you like doing fan art? And why do you do it? Um, me? Yeah. Ah, um, I, the thing is, I'm very picky about fan art. I want to do so much more fan art, but my pickiness about it prevents me. Uh, it's more, it's like, I, I need to draw a character a very specific way. I wanted to draw very true to the original source, but I also want to, you know, make it look like I drew it. Like when I see a lot of fan art, I always see like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna take this uh, Western cartoon and make fan art of it by making it into an anime babe or something. And yeah. um, I'm not that kind of person. I I like preserving the style and the you know the 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 proportion and everything about it. But I just want to make it look more you know me. But that's very hard to balance. And so that's why I don't do a lot of fan art. It's because I can't seem to find that balance most of the time. I see. Yeah. Um, right. I, I, I for for me, I don't do uh, I don't do a lot of fan art because I just not am not a fan of anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it, well, the the thing is, like, I can't. Um, like, I don't have the time to to invest in like becoming a part of a new fandom or whatever. So it's like. So when I do get into a new thing, I, I try to make fan art of it because it's so rare. Um, <laughs> so, uh, like recently, I, I did some dungeon meshi fan art because the the, the manga is so good. Uh, I actually read a part of that, um, and and I drew some like uh, I, I don't even remember. Oh, I drew Chainsaw Man fan because Chainsaw Man. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> But like other than that, it's like I just never had the chance to like get into like certain properties or whatever that everyone else has, and, and I'm not gonna draw something that I don't actually know anything about uh, mm -hmm. because then then it's like why are you even making this fan art um, unless like I don't, uh, unless you're like I <laughs> they're gonna bring up the BNA drawing because I I drew BNA fan art uh, of, yeah. uh, of Michiru and like and and I never actually watched the anime um, <laughs> so so people keep bringing up that I'm a fake fan so I, I, I mean I also never that's why I never draw fan art of something that I've never seen because people keep calling me a fake fan I mean that's another thing though would you <laughs> is it still like is it such a bad thing to draw fan art of something even though you've never read it isn't it just good enough that you think that the design is cool looking or it's a girl with you know massive Brain power or something, yeah, sure, yeah, like and, and that's, that's basically like work on its own, yeah, and that's basically what gift art for OCs is, is like, yeah. right? It's like you don't know anything about this OC, you just know that you like the design and you like the person who made it, so it's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I, I think, I think you, you need to tell that to, to my, my, my Discord who keeps making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, what what program do you use? 
Oh uh, boy, that's a that's a <laughs> brand new question I've never heard. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but um, I use I mainly use Clip Studio, and I have familiarized myself with it since it came out. Um, and I am very happy with it, and I would never switch unless there's something better. Unless there's something better. <laughs> Nah, it wasn't what what program you, it was. What fitness program do you use to stay in shape? Oh, okay, very easy. I use uh, Ring Fit, but <laughs> okay. I, I modified it in a way where I don't have to use the actual ring. I, I can just use my controller. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best answer. So I I actually also do Ring Fit and. Uh, it, it, this is this is art related um so my wrist was hurting and like i couldn't draw for a while like my hand and wrist was hurting too much it, i think it was like some sort of rsi or some sort of like repetitive stress injury but like um i started doing ring fit i stopped drawing and i started doing ring fit. and like it, it exercises your wrists and your hand because you're you're like kind of like squeezing the ring and stuff to to exercise your arms but like um it actually magically healed my wrist and my hand so like like I, like my hand and arm never hurt, hurt again from like i i feel like ring fit was the, was the magic answer so like there you go uh, there yeah there you go you have carpal tunnel thing. ring fit <laughs> it'll heal you there you go there you go guys you can tend to your money yet again <laughs> yet again it's nothing new just just hand it over man it's <laughs> it's inevitable. Come on, yeah. go do it anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so yeah, like even even just doing ring fit just, like, cured yeah. my ails. <laughs> like, like the most important things for your hands is circulation. The the more you stay in a single position with your one hand, the more it's gonna cut off your circulation. It's it, hands are like the most one of the most sensitive parts besides your tongue, of course, on your body, and um. They need a lot of blood circulated in them to work properly. Mm -hmm. So simple exercises like rotating your wrists, um, stretching them a lot. It's going to free up those blood vessels and it's going to, you know, keep them nice and fresh. You don't want stale hands, do you? <laughs> no. So yeah, do, uh, yeah, keep your, keep your hands circulated. Keep your hands yeah. circulated. Gotta get up and do some exercises every so often. Get your hands out of the water. You don't know where that's been. Put your hands in, in boiling water to heal them. Guys, cool cool trick for, for every artist. Put your hands in warm water overnight while you sleep, and you're going to wake up a new man. <laughs> <laughs> good good, uh, good advice there. Good advice. Yeah. <laughs> this is the advice stream. This is a life advice stream. Um, yeah, there's no Q&A anymore. This is a life hack stream. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If you if subscribe to Don, uh, he'll become your life coach. Uh, he'll send you motivational messages every morning. And, um, subscribe to my Yelp page, please. My Yelp page. <laughs> Artists can have Yelp pages. So. I, yeah. Oh gosh, I, 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 I would I would quit art if artists had to deal with Yelp pages. You never, seen, you never seen you never seen that cool episode of Black Mirror where I had where everyone had a Yelp page. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I saw that one. You're right. You're right. Oh man. Oh gosh. Uh, um, next question. Um, how do you approach colors and rendering? Unless that's not the next question. Uh, uh, I mean, that's a good question. Uh, colors is a. Uh... So colors is. I have a palette that I've kind of built up over the past like two years and it's very, it's not a very big palette, but it's a small, it's a, I, I basically use it for everything. Um, so you'll see that a lot of my art kind of like uh, adheres to the, <laughs> a similar palette, but I, I, I try to move from it. Like, uh, like I start with the palette as a base and then I uh, kind of change around the, the hue and the, and, and the, um, values a bit like to, to kind of match the picture but um I, I think i think every artist has like their own like favorite palette i think that uh they use mm -hmm. kind of over time like, yeah like like um there's all this there's always like you know something to go back to if you don't know what how to color something for now 
um, it's always good to have um, like you know something standard to go to fall back onto. Yeah, and I'm not gonna be say I'm the a master of color theory. Like, I, I kind of just look at stuff and eyeball. Like, color, um, I don't color pick from pictures. I just kind of eyeball. Uh, like, I, I pick a color on the palette that seems kind of close to it, and then I move it around the color wheel to to kind of to get it even closer. But, um, like, I, that's probably not the best advice. Uh, okay. But, <laughs> but what's your favorite color? My favorite color is probably blue. I like blue. Oh, I was going to say purple. You seem pretty purple. You seem I, pretty I'm purple. purple. Sky's, <laughs> Sky's hair is blue. That's why. Sky, oh, and, and Hannah's hair is red. And you put, if, if my color theory is right, you put them together and it's purple. Son of a bitch, Don was right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don, what do you do with the colors, dude? Um, Play around them a little bit. Mix them up. You know, frame around. You know, where um, it, it comes back to just messing colors, around. Colors are very again. interesting to me. Like, it's only recently I've started to really appreciate like weird colors. You know, very very odd combinations, very high contrast combinations, very low contrast combinations. I feel like you know when when you start off as an artist and you finally figure out how you, how to draw skin tones, and yeah. um, and then now I'm like, you know what? I hate regular skin tones. I want this person to be green. And I've been really digging that. I've been really digging green people. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, just bring uh, so up, like, this. Where I can just take any abstraction or like any kind of color and make it work. And I'm really happy with that. So a thing I've, I've, I've read somewhere, like, uh, I don't know if this is actually true or not. So don't take this as like real advice or anything, but like you put in a, um, kind of a, like a, a saturation layer, you put it, you, um, you fill it up with black. And so you get the values only of this picture. So basically what's important about a picture. So like, um, you pick, a any color, like it doesn't matter w what color you pick as long as it has a, a value that looks right in this picture and like uh you and when you come when it comes back out like when you turn this off it'll be like a crazy color scheme but it'll actually look uh mm. it'll actually okay. look okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, so I get what you mean. i've i've tried this before and it looked it, it was kind of like i i need to you need it, to but, fiddle around with it but it, otherwise yeah. it would it works otherwise it it in theory yeah. should work but yeah like you guys, thing, like people can try it out and see what you think. yeah exactly another thing i like to do with colors is um i like to limit them so when i work with colors when i have very colorful pictures like actually you know what i have an example this is the first time we're gonna have an example guys um <laughs> wait no it's not loading oh <laughs> uh, wait you okay, heard it okay is it gonna load Oh boy, that's too big. Okay. But what I was going to say is, I like, okay, there it is. So I like to keep my colors palette for specific pieces very limited. And mm. I feel like that gives very, like, co coherent results. Where, um, example, this picture, there's like three main colors there's a blue, there's a red, and there's a green. And limiting that to just three colors. But having you know variation within that within those color spectrums, um, it's very like I say, it's very easy to process. You know, like you know if you go back to two thousand seven and you're gonna have an OC with a billion colors, that's very hard to process. You need to, a long time to look at it to understand it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you keep your color palettes very limited, people are gonna have an easier time to look at your drawing, and they're gonna. Um, Appreciate it better and faster, I feel. Yeah, that, um, that's like even even your art, like I see that you use a lot of blues and purples and like a little bit of yellow. And that's very easy to, you know, process. And that's why your art is very pleasing to look at. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely not busy in any sense. Yeah. You know? It's, it's uh, yeah, I do like to keep a kind of a muted color uh color scheme i think um like it, it, like it 
so it makes the colors actually stand out, I think, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and it's less difficult to, like you said, kind of parse what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, it can also help divide a piece. Like, for example, if I take away these, um, these colors and then just show the line art, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, somewhat messy to look at because everything's just scribbles but the colors also help us um divide pieces into like segments and can lead the eye you know yeah it's like this this is really good i have, have you actually posted this oh no because i never finished it <laughs> <laughs> i mean it looks finished to me <laughs> Yeah, it looks finished, Don. What's up with that? What's left? <laughs> that's, a, that's the thing. I, I've gotten really lazy. I would start a drawing. I would get to the coloring process. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. I got tired. And I sleep. <laughs> is, is this confirmation that Cassette Girl is going to be in? Week fucking 20 fucking 8. I don't know. Yeah, week infinite because it's never going to come out, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, they're just going to take <laughs> the money and go to Bermuda or something. I'm going to go over to fucking <laughs> Dave's place and I'm going to tell him, okay, deal's off. I take okay. all my all my big bags of gold with me. <laughs> deal's off. Grand deal's off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you got your kickstars. You don't need this anymore. And all my buddies from, all my buddies from Twitter are joining Newgrounds now. And wow, but they, very, very, they think very... it's cool Ow! now. I was I was a fan of Newgrounds before it became popular, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Tom Fulp should give me money. So <laughs> Tom Fulp was. <laughs> I'm giving Tom Fulp money actually. Uh, I'm a supporter, so uh, he gives us money for the Patreon. So <laughs> jokes. <laughs> 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 Goofy man. Uh, ten minutes. Shoot your shot, chat. Ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do a fucking lightning round. Ask okay. us anything. Go. Bing, bang. Bang. Every <laughs> single question, they gotta answer him. They gotta answer him. Go. 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 No, come on, come on, come no on, personal come on. questions. Just art related. Go. Uh, do you see? Uh, 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 no, I don't. I don't use dot pick anymore. Doesn't use dot pick. Don, how do you feel about making comics? Oh, I love, comics, I love comics, I love comics, I love comics, I love comics. Is she none? What, what the fuck is the deal with anti aliasing? Aliasing. You can, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. The pixel art masters are, are I mean, they'll say that you need to do anti aliasing, but uh, it actually, you actually don't. Uh, but some people can do it really well and it looks really good. Uh, you overdo it and it's bad. Uh, thick lines or colored lines? Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> both. Yeah, um, yeah, both. I, I, both. <laughs> both. <laughs> Both. A good blend is a good blend. Shoot. Uh, do you think Cassette Girl will be in Friday Night Funkin'? Um, I will not. I I plead the fifth. <laughs> HC now, what do you think? Do you think Cassette Girl will be in Friday Night Funkin'? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, oh, but shit. sure. I, as an outside of Jinder, I, oh I feel like Cassette Girl is a Newgrounds mascot. So When did I that happen, like should, by uh, the way, Dom? When did Cassette Girl become a Newgrounds mascot? I okay, actually, funny story. Um, Newgrounds, no, Cassette Girl, um, started off as a mascot for my music album, which I never made because I don't know how to write music. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, okay, listen, I made her because I had a dream about making music and I wanted to have a mascot for my music creations, so I made Cassette Girl. And then I'm like, huh, I don't know how to make music. And I just, so I just kept drawing her. And then one day Dave showed up and he went up to me and he said, hmm, pretty little thing right there. And <laughs> he said, I want to use this for something. And um, we were originally going to use it for a Newgrounds project. And he said, she fits the Newgrounds uh, quota perfectly. She's, she's a bona fide certified Newgrounder. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I still get to keep the rights, right? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and so he used her for something that hasn't been out. And I don't know if they're still working on it. And I don't know if I can even talk more about this. But basically, she was a part of Newgrounds. She was part of Newground um, content and, like, the site already before Friday Night Funkin' even. And then, you know, she started growing bigger. I started drawing her more. And then Dave came back out of nowhere and he's like, hey, um, 
you know, we want to we want to use her again for something else. I'm like, whoa, what what is it? And he said, um, check this out. And he showed me the drawing of the Friday Night Funkin' promo art with her in it. And he's like, you'd be all right if we did this. I'm like, hell yeah, dude, that sounds hella cool. <laughs> 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 it's still not out yet. And, 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 that kind of story, though. and um yeah, that's the whole story. That's the lore. She's basically she grew up to be a new grounder, basically. That's, that was her that was her job. I don't, that's what she became. That was her destiny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> completely unrelated, but somehow related now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somehow. Um and lightning I guess... round. Lightning round, lightning round. You guess lightning what? Lightning round, lightning round. No, you guess what? Uh 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 how do you guys feel about trying out different art styles, <laughs> i.e. Uh, GTA, comic styles, etc.? I think trying out different art styles is important, like, because uh, because then you might learn something from it. Um, yeah. Uh, like, uh, th there's this really cool Twitter meme that was going around uh, about, like, drawing your character in someone else's art style, mm -hmm. uh, like, drawing your mutuals art style or whatever. And, and I never was able to finish it because... Uh, like it's, it's very hard. hard. <laughs> but, um, I feel but like I did learn a lot from it. Yeah, I feel like imitating art styles also just helps you understand how other people think when they draw, mm -hmm. and maybe that can also just like help you further, you know, your skills. Because once you imitate an art style, you're gonna figure out, oh wait, they did it like this, and and I can do this now instead, and there, you can just find shortcuts through that. Like, um, I've been uh, there was a time where I drew. Where I drew a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of uh, schoolhouse rock art styles for my characters that no one ever sees, but um, <laughs> it was really fun, and I want to do it again. Hell yes! So having fun with it. Uh, how hard is it to do pixel art? Go. Uh, that hard. Uh, there you go. All right. Uh... <laughs> no, okay, so so this is a thing. Pixel <laughs> art is easier in some ways and harder in some ways. Like, uh, like. Um, but it's it's easy to get into. That's the thing. Like it's it has a very low barrier to entry. Um, so like you start at, with a small canvas, like thirty two or sixteen by sixteen or thirty two by thirty two uh, pixels. You 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 draw some blob and it represents something, and you're like, hey, and it teaches you how to simplify stuff and like kind of focus on important details uh, and like know what know what to simplify, know what to uh, uh, you know ma what makes something recognizable as the thing uh so it's a good exercise to do i think like just just working in very low resolution um but then like you, you try to do something more complicated and, and then then you start getting into like um like all the technical stuff that like uh mm -hmm. that all the that all the masters have 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 a uh, kind of mastered uh, over the years and like they have lots of opinions about them and that so you have to navigate that uh, once, once you become an, an actual pixel artist, but <laughs> um, what about you, Don? Yeah. Do you do? Have you ever tried pixel art? Me? Yes. Sir. Um. Yeah, I have. I actually have a game that I made a while ago, where I did. I heavily did nothing but pixel art for it, and a little bit of coding on the side, and I thought it looked pretty good. And um, I think I honestly, pixel art is it's pixel art is way harder than regular drawing. I figured and. I figured out, and it's. I really appreciate like other pixel artists, like for, for like the work they do now. It's it's actually so hard to do really well and appealing pixel art. It it is very difficult to do uh, appealing yeah. pixel art, <laughs> and and Especially that's why the smaller you get. Yeah, the smaller you get, the harder. Like, so I, I see Ichigo in the chat. She is an expert. Yeah, at a, mm. a pixel. Art. She's one of the masters. I, I oh yeah, I'm one of my greatest inspirations. So go check her out. Um, oh yeah, I remember their stuff. It's yeah, great. Ichigo is it. Ichigo is basically the the master of pixel. Art. Like, uh, I think I, I think I've definitely seen their stuff on Twitter. I think it's really. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm never gonna get through these questions at this point. Um, uh, what do okay. you enjoy right. about drawing? Go. Oh, uh, uh, girls! <laughs> <laughs> well, girls, perfect, dude. That's my only, <laughs> That's my only drive. My only drive. Yes. Uh, I mean, I can agree with that. Right, if it weren't for the girls, I would have been, <laughs> been here. <laughs> I like to tell. I kind of like to vent and tell stories about, like, uh, about how how I hate my how I hate my job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's that's kind of my drive when drawing. 
That's uh, really cool, though. Don, when are you making an 8-tracks, boy? When I learn how to use FL Studio, man. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know how to pick up a guitar. I have a piano sitting in my room that I never use. I don't know how to play piano. <laughs> okay. HC I don't none. know why I bought the damn thing. HC none. Uh, Twitch stream when? Uh, I'm I'm gonna twitch start twitching, start twitch streaming. You're gonna again. start twitching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were twitching a little bit right there, dude. Yeah, I, I just twitched a little bit. Yeah. Um. So like. Uh, I moved into a new apartment, so I actually have some room to to have a oh, a, dude, a streaming cool. setup. So I'm gonna start streaming again. I think, uh, like, not as often as I used to, but I, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to do some more stuff. Like, I actually want to make. More, I actually want to start making videos, like live action videos. I got a green oh, screen and everything. Nice. And I want to make really funny shit. Heck yeah! Um, how often do you shower? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, once every two days. <laughs> You're doing it too that. often, yeah. kind of, kind of. Uh, yeah, kind of cringe. Yeah, it's, it's what? Yeah, you're no, leaving listen. a carbon okay, footprint. Okay, I sneak like up that. real fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I sneak up real fast. <laughs> um, how do so you I gotta know? take the shower. Wait, hold on. There was a you... there was a burger or a, con a corn dog. Burger or corn dog. You got energy. Um. How do you know when to quit a certain aspect of art, whether that be a medium style routine, etc.? Like, how do you know when to quit something? Like, when you're not having fun with it. I yeah, guess. when you're not having yeah. fun. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> art is all about the fun. If you're not in it for the fun, then what are you in it for, huh? Money? Fame? Yeah. yeah. You're, not get, you're not getting oh, money, no. bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Dan, how'd you come up with onion? Um, 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 I bit into an onion. That's not, that's not true. No, okay, that's that's not true. <laughs> I did it afterwards. But, um, no, the way I came up... Here's a funny story. Onion Girl isn't actually Onion Girl. She's actually... She was a piece of fan art that I just happened to like, and I changed it up a bit. Ooh. She was she was fan art of fucking Yume Nikki. Like, the Yume Nikki girl. And I like, just touched <laughs> oh, her up a bit, and now she serious? became Onion Girl. It's oh, wow, that's actually very interesting. It's a big bomb that you just dropped there. It's Yume Nikki, everyone. I do drop I do drop big things. I did, nice. I do like her <laughs> her style though. I do like her concept. Um, Hell yeah. Uh, there was one. How do you grow a following? Boom. Yeah. Answer, uh, answer that. How, how do you grow a following? I, I think the most important thing is joining communities and, and getting to know people and they'll follow you and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Don? Um, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Well, you, uh, yeah, I mean, you also have to draw whatever is appealing to the, to the group you're trying to um, appeal to, I guess. Uh, I think I think the most important thing about having about getting a big following is having fun, dude. Just have fun, cause yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, if I you make know, a whole I numbers never, game thing, then it's, it's not fun. That's the thing. I never really, it never really mattered to me about the numbers. I just wanted to make cool art friends and talk about art because I really, I really like art. Yeah. <sighs> And then the art, and then the following kind of comes with it because they yeah. people are kind of attracted to. Because people, having people aren't stupid; they will see when you have fun, and when they notice that you have fun, they will follow you because they also want to have fun. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and sometimes I see people online like complaining about numbers and stuff, and then like it's obvious they're not having fun. <laughs> and then you, and so you don't follow them. If you worry <laughs> like about the you can't negative focus on the art. Yeah. All right, I guess uh, I guess that's everything. I wish I could get to the other questions. Yeah. Um, it's one o'clock in the morning for me. EST. We got one more round of artists going on. Thank you, nice. HC Nun. Thank you, Soft Don. It's been a pleasure. It's been a really chill, oh, yeah. just Q and A stream. And it was out. it was very fun. I, I enjoyed it. Very this. fun. Yeah. Maybe Let's, we um, should do this in the future do it again. again sometime. <laughs> we should do this again. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to the. I'm 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 definitely on board. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Foo Shark and Mogi64 are next. They're here to talk about artist health at one in the morning. So this will be our last <laughs> thing going on today. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll see everyone else in the other VC. If I don't see you guys again, um, it's been a great time. So thank you. All right. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks.